Okay, so we're going to wrap up uh, book two of Mouse and our unit on the graphic novel Mouse today. And I thought we would just end our discussion by looking at some of the final images of book two and discuss how Art Spiegelman chooses to end his narrative and how all the sort of threads tie together or how he sort of um, allows them to give closure to Vladek's narrative. Um, so at this moment, this is um, Art and his father, and over the course of the two books we've seen how there's tension um, and a lot of sort of dysfunctional relationship going on between Art and his father. Uh, they often butt heads, but I do think there is some progression in terms of their relationship over the course of both books where Art seems to, um, at least in the super present, right, in chapter two, book two, he seems to have gained some more insight at this point in his life after Vladek's death um, and has sort of grown uh, more appreciative of his father and understand uh, why Vladek is the way that he is, how his personality was formed during this traumatic experience. Uh, so in this illustration here we have an example of uh, how um, Art Spiegelman is using framing through his panels and he has uh, depicted Vladek as sort of separated into um, separate panels so there's a panel for his head, one for his feet and for his torso and he's drawing him uh, larger on the full page um, so it's an in interesting sort of layout of the page and again I think it reiterates this idea that we've been talking about that Vladek in some ways has not survived his experience. Um, he's still sort of fragmented and um, you know traumatized from the experience. Uh, in many ways he didn't survive, right? So psychologically he's still wounded from the past and this illustration sort of depicts uh, him contemplating all the deaths that have occurred in uh, among his friends and family how he survived but many of his family members and Anya's family members did not including his uh, firstborn son did not survive so we have a depiction of Vladek who is again shattered he's a sh the sort of shattered version of uh, the man he used to be uh, given his experience of uh, all that he's lost in his life up to this point um, Spiegelman also sort of uh, includes a photographic evidence of his father wearing this uh, almost a surreal picture of a souvenir photo uh, taken uh, in a camp uniform. Um, so the fact that Vladek has this il picture sort of illustrates that he survived the experience and um, Again, he, kept, he keeps it as a sort of memento that he actually lived through this time. Uh, it's sort of surreal in the fact that they had souvenirs to, you know, commemorate. That's what we take photographs for, right, is to sort of capture a moment in time. Uh, so the fact that they offered souvenirs to those who survived this experience is just sort of um, an odd thing that happened. Um, but at this point in the narrative, it's sort of Art Spiegelman's way of reminding us that you know, this is a true story. These are real people, real events that occurred. It's not just a story of cats and mice. This is um, how um, real people experienced uh, and his father, his father's story. So uh, it sort of, you know, touches home how uh, it's a real person, a real experience, right? So all along it's sort of the, the allegory, the animal allegory has sort of uh, removed us one step away from the fact that these were humans being treated as animals and as subhuman and here in the final sort of chapters of the book we have an indication of Art Spiegelman, Art Spiegelman reminding us that uh, these are human victims, human survivors and uh, this is not just a comic book story. So book two ends uh, with a reunion and um, it's a conscious decision on Art Spiegelman's part to end his narrative on this scene rather than say uh, choosing to 
uh, end it with Anya's suicide or um, in chapter two when he's describing how Vladek uh, died. So he's consciously deciding to end his narrative with this happy ending and it's an indication that there is this sort of underlying love story that exists in Mouse between Anya and Vladek and their love is sort of transcendent of the suffering and oppression and death even. It goes beyond um, Anya's death and they are sort of re reunited in death uh, as sort of commemorated by the tombstone where they are both buried. And in this scene we also get uh, Vladek and Artie um, ending their recordings so we get a glimpse of Vladek's deterioration, his sort of mind is failing in this moment as he asks Art to stop the tape recorder and then he mistakenly refers to Artie as his first born son who did not survive the Holocaust so he's saying I'm tired from talking Rishu and it's enough stories for now. So in this moment he has um, mistaken Artie for his firstborn son and called him by the wrong name. So we get an indication again that reiterates the point that in many ways Vladek has not moved on from this traumatic experience. He still, even as you know in his late 70s, he's still suffering uh, from the traumatic fallout, the aftermath of being a survivor of the Holocaust and he's carrying these stories um, and sharing them with Artie and sort of reliving them in a way um, so it's sort of commemorated at this time in Mouse but uh, that idea that trauma still carries over, the past is never fully resolved for somebody who experiences it firsthand as well as subsequent generations uh, is present in this moment so this final image of book two so I thought we would listen to the actual audio of Vladek um, uh, telling us the happy ending of his reunion with Anya. And finally, I came my wife's hometown, Sosnovice. I have seen very little people, very little Jews. I have seen mostly Poles. But where to go, whom to look, and where to see, I went to the Jewish community. When I came in, some girls were there walking and they recognized me. Oh, you came, your wife is here, she's looking for you, she's coming here every day and asking, oh, how happy she will be. Where is she? Where is she? I ask. Oh, she is now here. And she was here and she went down now to the street. Maybe you will meet her. Of course, I went down and looking for her, going up and down until finally I found her. The rest I don't need to tell you because we both were very happy. So there's definitely a certain level of irony that we know as readers when we hear Vladek say that there was a, they were happy from every after, right? So they lived happily ever after. It's kind of this um, make-believe sense of closure that Vladek has for his narrative even though we know that their life was anything but happy after and that they both struggled with feelings of guilt and Anya of course um, ended up taking her own life and um, already struggled with his father as well. So we know that there was no such thing as a happy ending, yet we have Vladek uh, ending his narrative in this way uh, as a happy reunion between uh, these two individuals. Uh, so there is sort of levels of endings that occur in this moment and um, it's the way that Vladek would have wanted Art to end his narrative and that's how Art uh, does end his narrative even though he gives us another little glimpse that uh, Vladek is still not recovered uh, from this experience, right? So uh, there's lots going on within the ending of book two. Okay, so while we're just ending our discussion of Mouse, I thought I would briefly uh, talk about some of the essay topics that you are 
uh, encouraged to select uh, for your uh, writing assignment number two, a critical reflection on mouse. So for this essay, uh, you're again going to write two to three pages, a uh, double-spaced uh, formal essay. And I've given you some options of possible questions that you can use as a way to formulate a formal essay on mouse. So the first question, what is the significance of Spiegelman's decision to portray people of different races and nationalities as different animals? Why are all the Jewish characters drawn as mice? Why are some of the characters wearing animas, animal masks in book two? Discuss these questions and explain the animal allegory in mouse. So again, you can uh, discuss some of the reasons why Art Spiegelman uh, chooses to include animals and the impact that that has on our understanding of the book. Question two, what factors contribute to Vladek's survival? In your essay, identify and discuss what factors contribute to Vladek's survival. Please provide specific examples to prove your argument. So in any essay, I expect quotations and specific examples. So for this one, you can sort of identify key factors that you think are uh, contributing to how Vladek survived and give me some examples of those. Question number three, what symptoms or behaviors of Vladek's indicate that in some ways he didn't survive? To what extent are Vladek's aggravating personality traits a product of his experiences during the Holocaust? So in this one you would again draw experience or draw together um, Vladek's past and present um, and indicate, identify some of his symptoms or behaviors and how they originated in his uh, Holocaust experience. Uh, question number four on page 93, Mala says that Vladek is more attached to things than people. Why might Mala say this? Do you believe this is true? Why do you think Vladek is so attached to objects and why are his relationships with others so dysfunctional? So here you might uh, talk about um, Vladek's uh, behavior of how he had to rely on objects, things to trade and survive, how he was also betrayed by others, and some of the longer lasting uh, effects of his experience of being um, betrayed. Question number five, Mouse is structured at a, as a metafiction comprised of three layers of narrative, Vladek's story, Art's interviews and interactions with his father as an elderly man, and then Art's reflections of writing Mouse in Book 2, Chapter 2. So what does the use of metafiction enable Spiegelman to accomplish and communicate in Mouse that he would not have been able to do otherwise? So in this one, again, you could talk about some of the uh, juxtaposition of past and present that Mouse uh, details and how all three of those layers of the metafiction are interrelated. Um, and you might discuss how Art struggled to represent the Holocaust and how he sort of displays those struggles in the book, how he developed the allegory, and um, how his interactions with his father are sort of uh, revealed through the metafiction of Mouse. And then finally, uh, question six or topic six, uh, you get sort of free range of selecting any panel or series of panels in the text and then just explaining it. So this is sort of less uh, structured as an analysis, it's more just an explic explication of an image. Uh, and you can go through one panel or series of panels and tell me the major themes or conflicts being depicted uh, and relate that to the illustration. So I want to hear some detailed descriptions of uh, what Spiegelman is doing on that particular illustration. So is he drawing the image larger? Is it, it contains symbols? Um, are certain words or ideas being represented uh, through the pictures as well as through the literary content? Uh, so you can pick any one panel or series of panels and then uh, just write me an explanation of how this panel is important to the themes, the overall theme or themes of the book. So that's your options for writing assignment number two, which is due May 25th.
If you have any questions, feel free to email me or join the live chat.